Okay, friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm moving the microphone with the VR helmet on, so... <clears throat> helmet, helmet, headset. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm looking out through a crash helmet. Did I say crash? Oh, I hope not. Uh, anyway, we're back on the channel, and uh, today I'm testing out the Pimax power uh, block. It's a USB hub, a power hub. And it allows you to pump more power through the uh, headset cable. There's one connection at the headset for the cable, and then there's three at the computer. One for the um, video card and two USBs. So you plug the two USBs into this power hub, and you plug the video cable into the graphics card, and then you plug the power uh, power bar to the power hub so you've got AC power running through it and then you connect it you connect that hub to a USB 2 port behind the com on the on the back of the computer or the front or wherever you have one and then you should be getting more power through the headset enough to maintain the battery because the the huge problem with the batteries in the, the crystal is caused by the VR2 chip that's in it. The VR2 chip provides a lot of things that are very nice in the crystal, including eye tracking and so on. So it's nice to have that chip. But it was running out in about three hours for me, two hours for me. So uh, I was losing, I was swapping batteries after about three hours of play, which is okay for me because normally I'm only good for about two. But I could see how some of the sim racers would like more time. So Pimax came up with this solution. You can also plug a USB cable into the um, USB-C port on the right-hand side and then plug that into a power hub that's, uh, that's powered by AC. And that worked for me for a long time, but I started worrying about overcharging the battery, which is something the engineers cautioned us about. Uh, anyway, we're trying the Pimax solution, the power hub, and we'll see how much time we get out of it. We're also going to try DCS, and I'm going to try recording DCS in, um, in OBS, which I'm trying very hard to learn. Okay, Spitfire Mark 9. Let's play in, let's play in Normandy. And let's, let's do a dogfight. Why not? Gee, I was playing IL-2 earlier today, and I discovered that in the instant action games you can you can shoot down an enemy parachute. Oh, I did it. Didn't think I didn't think it would work, and then I actually felt sick afterwards. You know, isn't that crazy? It was a just a pixel on a screen, but I still. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't done it, but I didn't think it would work. But that's not a very good defense in court. You know, you can't go into court having having eliminated your enemies with a shotgun and say I didn't think it would work. Really, you know, Your Honor, I did. I just, I mean, go figure. I just didn't think it would work, but I pulled, I pulled the trigger and I went bang. Well, it's not really my fault. Didn't think it would work. That doesn't work any better than the he had it coming defense. Listen, Your Honor, if you knew that guy, you'd have killed him. Honest, he had it coming. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Okay, I think I've killed enough time with weak humor. Let's see how this works. I really, really do love the fact that you can use the mouse, although it's a little twitchy, I've got to set it up better, that you can use the mouse to help you operate the game in DCS. I wish IL-2 would do that, but it's a huge programming challenge. Lately, I've been spending most of my time in uh, Flight Sim 2020 because I've got those uh, Logitech panels that really add a lot to the experience in the game. So, but every time I come back to DCS, I think, gee, I should, I should play this more. I really should, because I do enjoy it. It takes a light touch on the controls. I don't 
know if he's trying to get away or if he's crashing. It's only a demonstration flight anyway. I'll be really interested to see how much battery life we get with this Pimax power hub. Historical fact, the black smoke that, that sometimes comes out of these 109s in World War II convinced Allied pilots they'd shot them down. But it was really just black smoke from, from putting the uh, pedal of the metal, as it were. But this guy's putting out a lot of smoke. I think he might be in trouble. Anyway, let's have a look and see what's behind us. I don't see any bullet holes, but I feel like somebody shot me. And the uh, the AI opponents are pretty good in this game. The uh, the AI wingmen seem to be seem to be kind of useless. Oh come on! I I thought I had neck saver turned on, but apparently not. Or at least if I do, it's not working. I have to configure it better. But I do love DCS. I just I think the world of this game. I just wish it had more opportunities for World War II play. They're working on it. They are working on it, you know. Oh, that's not the guy. His prop is stopped. He's not going anywhere. But that's my knock on DCS, really. You need a dozen more planes, probably, to, to simulate World War II and the Battle of Britain and that sort of thing. And each of those planes is expensive to develop and then costs money to buy for the player. The DCS itself is free in the base version, but every plane and module you add, unless you wait till they're on sale, and that happens several times a year, is going to cost you, you know, sometimes as much as a copy of IL-2. So it's not impossible to think that it, if you wanted to play the Battle of Britain in DCS, you would wind up spending a thousand dollars just on the planes and the landscapes. And I think the landscapes look really good in DCS. Honestly do. I mean they're not they're not like Flight Sim twenty twenty, but they're certainly more than good enough to play the game and and give you a sense of immersion. Alright. Somebody's shooting at me. I hope not. I need to get that gear down. Flaps are down. Oh dear, this isn't good. Let's just get level here. I'll have to land. Ouch. Well, <laughs> here I am in the weeds. Hmm. That was painful and embarrassing. <laughs> Well, if you've been following this channel, you've seen me do stupider things. I'm trying to remember how to work the controls in the game. Oh, Lord, that was fun. All right, I want to see how this video turned out, if it did, in OBS. And if it did, I'll post it. What's a little more humiliation for a man whose entire life has been one long mortification? Uh, actually, that's not true. But anyway. It's not easy being an old fat man in a cruel world. So let's uh, let's quit this, and I'll check the video out. And if it's any good, or I, uh, I mean in terms of actually being recorded, then I'll probably post it. <laughs> I don't mind looking bad. I'm kind of used to it. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody.